Good morning, senior referee students from all over Egypt. Welcome to Ministry of Education e-learning platform. It's a new day and it's our pleasure to give you a fresh fruitful beginning with our e-learning English session. Our presenters and producers for today, Mr. Osama Abdesalam Garbeya Governorate East Panta Directorate. So our advisor of English. Mrs. Amani Shawqi Sayyid Badawi, Garbeya Governorate, East Panta Directorate Language. Now we're going to have uh, the book, uh, grammar for uh, Unit four, uh, 9, Finding Work, Grammar Reported. We have uh, now a reported speech, reporting statement. We have uh, a kind of uh, reporting speech. We have reporting statement, reporting questions, reporting commands and requests. And uh, we have today report statement. There yes, are two ways. Any? Yes, and here you now we can have this slide. We have uh, a reporting. I was telling uh, our students that we have uh, kind of reporting and we, today we're going to have a reporting statement. Can uh, you see the uh, the slide, it's your turn, Mr. Ali. Uh, uh, there are two ways of reporting what a person say. Direct speech and uh, indirect speech. Actual words of the speaker, this is, we call it direct speech. That's to say, I visited my granny yesterday, said Sally. This is what Sally said from her mouth. Here we're going to report it and make it indirect speech giving the meaning of what the speaker said. That is to say, Sally said that she had visited her granny the day before. So I... Uh, there are some differences here between actual words and the reported words. Yes. As you see here, uh, Miss Amani, the yes, first... I... Okay, the first direct speech, we have two inverted commas. Yes. And the first said, but in indirect speech, we don't have commas and we have a change in pronouns. Uh, I change it into she. Yes, Miss Amani, go on. Okay, so here, we, yes, so we have to follow certain changes, as we said, even uh, in uh, using uh, the tense itself. We said he's uh, yes. visited yesterday. It turns to Sally uh, said she has visited, had visited her granny that day before. So the change is yes, uh, visited, become had visited, and uh, yesterday become the day before. The next uh, slide, Mr. Ali, yes. Reported verb is concerning say and tell. Uh, the second change is the tense of the verb. The third change is pronouns. And the four, fourth change is time references, and the last one, modal auxiliary verbs. Uh, let's see uh, how to change in detail. Yes, Ms. Aman. Yes, first changing report, reporting verbs. We have told, told plus object, or any other suitable reported verb. That's example, we have example. Accused, remind, assured, persuaded, warning. So, according to the situation, we're going to use the, the word, or verb. Said, said to, said or any other suitable reported verb, to say, replied, agreed, shouted, reported, complained. Uh, uh, do it yourself. We see here, there is a, a nice test here. Ahmed, uh, that uh, I. Face Ahmed that he should send the email. We have uh, here said, told, remind, B, and C. Okay, here we, we have uh, Ahmed I uh, told and reminded. I have told Ahmed and reminded Ahmed uh, uh, to send or should send uh, the email. Okay, so here we can use both of them. 
the next slide, Mr. Ali. Okay, my dear students, important points here. You should notice before you change from direct into direct speech. When we change from direct into reported speech, we start with the speaker. For example, Ali said, Ali said, or Ahmed complained. The speaker here and Ahmed uh, in, the another, uh, in the other sentence. We use reporting verbs that suits the direct statement. For example, we can use said or reported or replied, reminded, etc. Delete the two inverted commas and the comma. Use that if necessary. After the reported verb, we can omit it. We can omit that. So let's see example here. Hannah said that we can omit that. She had finished reading her favorite novel. Uh, we uh, uh, omitted two inverted commas and we changed I into she. We changed it finished into had finished. So we changed tenses, changed uh, in uh, direct uh, uh, verbs into indirect. We changed tenses uh, from past symbol here into past perfect. Yes, Miss Amanda. Okay. Yeah, we're going to complete. Second, changing the tense of the verb. Yes, of course, here uh, we are not putting it the same. Dial speech. Present simple. I study hard, said Mariam. Mariam said that she studied hard. So you can notice here present become past. Okay, present continuous. I'm starting a new business, said Ali. Ali said he was starting a new business. Past continuous. Present continuous, past continuous. Past simple becomes the past perfect simple. Okay, we met at the store yesterday. Of course, it's going to be Sally said they had met at the store the previous day or the day before. Yes, sir, Mr. Ali. Thank you, Mr. Amani. Okay, let's go on. Uh, tenses here can be changed as follows. Past continuous can be changed into past perfect continuous. I was cleaning my room, Mary said. I was cleaning here, past continuous. Let's see how to change it into direct speech. Mary said she had been cleaning, had been cleaning, past perfect continuous. Uh, her room. Uh, instead of my room, we changed it into her room because we are speaking about a female here, Mary. A present perfect symbol is normally changed into past perfect symbol. For example, I have bought a new mobile phone, said Sam. Sam said he had bought a new mobile phone. As you can see here, have bought, which is the present perfect symbol, is changed into had bought, which is past perfect symbol. Present perfect continuous is normally changed into past perfect continuous. For example, I have been working as a teacher for 20 years, Ali said. Ali said he had been working as a teacher for 20 years. The verb have been working is changed into had been working. Okay, try to do this uh, test or me test for uh, by yourself. He said, I am sick. How can we change the sentence? He said that he was the best of them was sick. Yes, Miss Amal. Okay, now we're going to continue. Uh, the Third is changing the pronoun itself. You see here the pronoun I 
indirect speech he she you are uh, pronoun uh, mine become indirect speech his her yours mine we have we become they they or we we have our become theirs or ours we become him her you or me here a subject uh, you becomes i or he she they we you us becomes them uh, uh, or us you as an object we have me his uh, her their our here we're going to have a little test or do it yourself we see ali said we have painted our flag yeah ali said they had painted their flag it's very clear here the changes we become they our become their mary said our teacher give us homework mary said their teacher have given them homework of course uh, there is a change in the pronoun and the, the verb itself uh, and we uh, take away uh, the two inverted commas and so we're going to complete mr ali your turn the fourth one nice thank you yes first changing time reference uh, pay attention my dear students when we have now uh, okay uh, until uh, mr ali join us again now becomes then uh, tonight becomes that night this becomes that today that day these becomes those yet come by them here become there the day before yesterday the day before yesterday two days before two days before before yes yes mr ali you can complete okay thing. Yes, let's see. Okay, let's see this example, my dear students. I will see this homework here again tomorrow, said my teacher. Let's change. As uh, Mr. Ali was going to say, you see here, you're going to change uh, the words here. I will see uh, uh, his homework here again tomorrow, said the teacher, my teacher. Her teacher said he would see that homework there again the following day you see here this become that here become there tomorrow becomes the following day Mr. Ali, are you following us turning model verb my dear student we change well into what we change can into could we change may into might or may itself yes. he said i will meet him soon uh when we change the sentence we get he said he would instead of he uh, he instead of i we use he instead of well we use what meet him soon let's see shall shall maybe change it into should or what uh, for example she said we shall go to the library on saturday she said they would instead of shall here we use what go to the library on saturday okay concerning must plus the infinitive when we are talking about a law my dear students we don't change it when must expresses law we don't change it let's see here drivers must wear a seat belt when they drive all i said let's change the sentence into indirect speech all I the drivers must the same we don't change must all i said the drivers must wear a sea belt when they drive uh, must can be changed into had to uh, plus the infinitive and the same for have to has to so must or have to or has to plus the infinitive when they express obligation in the present, they can be changed into had to plus the infinite. Let's see an example here. Sarah said, I must study hard to pass the exam. When we change this sentence, we get Sarah said she had to, had to uh, instead of must. 
had to study hard to pass the exam. Yes, Mr. Ahmed. Yes, Mr. Ali, as you say, this is not a law, it's not uh, uh, a must, if so we have to change it to had to. But if it is a law, as you said, it must be as it is. Okay. Uh, the next one, must have to, uh, has the to, obligatory in the future. We have to meet Sarah tomorrow. Uh, uh, Lily said, uh, Lily said uh, they would have to meet uh, Sarah the next uh, day. Not here, would have to. This is why, because it will be in the future form. If we are going to see test yourself here or do it yourself, uh, I must clean the room today, said uh, my sister. Uh, my sister said she had to, so it's not a law, it's just uh, something obligatory. So we had, she had to, must become had to in the room the day before. Reporting questions, my dear student, WH question, when we have WH question, uh, we use this rule. Reporting person plus asked or any suitable reporting verb. Plus the question word, plus subject, plus the reported speech. For example, what will he do? Ola asked. When we change the sentence, we get Ola asked what not to what he, like he would. So in reporting speech, we use statement after the question word. The question word here, what? So we use he, the subject before a verb, he would do. Concerning yes or no question, we use this rule. Reporting person plus ask it or any suitable reporting verb plus if or whether. My dear students, when we uh, report yes, no question, we use if or whether plus subject plus the report speech. Look here, did he go shopping with Ali? Hala said, Hala asked if he had, if or whether, if or whether he had going shopping with Ali. Notice here the question mark is turned into full stop. The question mark is turned into full stop. Notice, yes, we don't use do or does or did as auxiliary verbs in reported speech. Only the original verb change past simple or past perfect. So we omit do or does or did when they are auxiliary verbs, helping verbs. Not the main verb. The main verb is changed, but the auxiliary verb or helping verb do or does or did uh, uh, is normally omitted. When do you see Ali? Asked Ola. Ola asked me. When I saw. Where is do here? Do is omitted. So Ola asked me when I saw Ali. Test yourself. When to visit your uncle, ask it all. All I ask it me when I space my uncle. Visit or visited or do visit or did visit. Of course, visited because we omitted do and the change the present simple visit into a simple visited. Yes. Okay, let's see here reporting commands and requests. It's a new time. Reporting person and suitable reporting verb and receive uh, plus two no, uh, or not two plus interest. Let me see the example. Open the window, please, Sarah, said the teacher. Here he is uh, reporting something. The teacher asked Sarah to open the window. Don't touch the fire, Sam, said mom. Mom warned Sam not to touch the fire. Notice here that uh, asked said become asked and here uh, don't become uh, uh, warning said become warning because there is a warning don't uh, not to change it not to use it to doesn't change in report speech I used to play yoga at uh, Rada uh, Rada mentioned she used to play uh, yoga here we have 
what as it is uh, because it's a habit in the past. We have here test yourself. We see sabah, uh, uh, fara, uh, space. I'm sorry, wafa uh, to study her, uh, study for her exam. We have told, advised, complained, threatened. Of course, here as it is uh, an advice to study. She advised wafa to study for her exam. Next. We're going to wrap up all of it so we see that uh, to report speed that we're going to change uh, that what's happening uh, in what is said to us to in another uh, form of uh, saying or writing it uh, as we see we change it uh, the verb the tenses uh, and to uh, according to its present become past uh, past become past participle and so on uh, uh, past, uh, past perfect, I'm sorry. And uh, if we want to use the, the verb uh, said uh, in the past, so we're going to change it. If it is the he says, it becomes as it is. He said he says, we play football uh, every day. It becomes unchanging that he says, uh, we play football uh, every day as it is. It doesn't change at all. So it is depending on uh, if it is the past, the saying, uh, it said, uh, or uh, it says. Says start still as it is. The sentence becomes as it is. Uh, it's not changing in it. Of course, uh, there is something we uh, remember it and we put the stress on it. If it is uh, his, is it becomes changing as it is. It never changing the verb inside he says i am visiting luxor next month he says that he is visiting luxor next month also we don't change it is a fact the teacher told us out who said the nile is the longest river in the world the teacher told us that the nile is the longest river in the world here put it in direct speech as it is in the present can you see the form now yes sir. it's here it's appearing now the form you have a question now too or, uh... okay let's see uh we begin yes. from two here yes yes okay now that's okay mr ali you can start Okay, uh, let's uh, choose, my dear student, choose the correct. Says yeah. is the present. Says is a present. So we need the present tense. Present is. He is. Okay. So is is the correct answer. Yes. Three, yes. Miss Manny. Yes. Uh, the teacher told us that the river Space, the longest river has been, will be, had been. We see it's a fact, so it is L is also. It's a fact. I have to put it in a present form. Yes, for, for she said that she space the manager the day before. I advise you, my dear students, when you see the word the day before or the week before or the year, the year before, we choose past perfect. Had met. Had met. Yes, sir. good advice. Yes, sir. the criminals admitted that they, the bank, hadn't robbed, are robbing, had robbed, have robbed. Of course, admitted it must be had robbed. They admitted that they have robbed in the past. Yes. Okay, number six. The manager declared that the company's base brilliant workers the next month. So, my dear students, when you see the next plus month or week or year, uh, try to find what or uh, was or where going to. Let's see here uh, if there is what or was or where going to. Is promoting, was going to promote, had promoted have promoted. As I advised you, my dear students, here was going to promote. Why? Because it is the future, the next month. What or was or where going to? Yes, sir. 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 Yes,
Yes, Miss Amani. Yes. She told me I face due care uh, to my work. I actually appreciated her advice. Uh, needn't have given, could have given, should give, uh, have given. Of course, here she told me as an advice. Of course, her advice, I like it. So she uh, should. Yes. She should yes. give because care. Yes. I should yes. care about advice. my work. Yes. 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 Well, it's an advice. Yes. Should. Advice. Yes. He said he often television when he was free. Okay, my dear students, look at was past simple. So try to find best simple or best perfect. But here we have often. So we need best simple only. Watch it, watches, watch, had been watched. Of course, watch it, best simple. A habit in the best. Yes, sir. You have here, she said just now, that she faced the, the test at school tomorrow. Had been revised, is revised, uh, I'm sorry, uh, was revised, is revising. Here she just said now, giving me that it is still working. So it is uh, just is revised, is revi um, sorry, is revising for the test at school now. Yes, uh, my uh, Miss Amani, do you allow me to yes, add something? When we have tomorrow, it doesn't uh, change it. It isn't change it. So we need uh, something dealing with tomorrow. Well, or is going to, or present continuous. Here we have present continuous. And the other thing, as Miss Amani has just said, just now, just now we don't need to change tense. We don't need to change tense. Yes, just now, yes. Yes. No, we don't yes. Need to change yes. Next, he says that his father was encouraging him to find another job. Uh, here we have that, and there is no uh, one to uh, tell him. So we have told, or say, or explained, or shouted. We cannot use told. Why? Because there is no one to tell him what I am saying here. So he explained, explained that. Yes. yes. He told us that he, a solution to the problem, had found, uh, will have found, will be found, can be found. Of course, uh, told us in the past, solution had found. Uh, a solution to the problem. Yes, we have told here, so we need best. The only best here had found. Okay, Mona said that he space a report on the new project then. Okay, my dear students, when you find then here, try to find best continuous, which is was or where plus ing. Let's see here, has written, will be writing, was writing is writing again when you find them try to find best continuous which is was or where plus ing we have was uh, writing here okay ahmed said he was ready for the final exam told said wonder recommended ahmed uh, said he was ready for the final exam. Here we omitted that and we put that he was ready. Said that he was ready for the final exam. Yes. We want uh, perfect tense. Which perfect? Present perfect or past perfect? Look at said. Said it's past. Yes. So we meet past perfect. Has met or will meet or had met. Of course, had met. When Omar was ill, I told him he face take his medicine on time. Had to, have to, will have, well, of course, uh, as uh, give him advice or just uh, tell him comply to something. Had to, I told him he had to take, uh, like uh, must, of course, uh, I will have to in the present, but now it's in the past. Yes, Mr. Ali? 
Okay, mom told Summer that she had better space her to study, studied, study, had study. As you know, the verb which follows had better is infinitive only. So had better study. Yes, had. He said his his wife raised green salad. Eat at have eaten eating. Here he said his wife ate, ate and passed. Yes, yes, a simple one. Yes, Hatim said his best terrible. So he had to take an aspirin. Feels, is feeling, felt, has felt. Okay, look here, my dear student said is best, so we need best tense, which be best here. Of course, felt. Ahmad promised that he spaced late once more. Won't be, mustn't be, can't be, one, one, be. Would, wouldn't be, of course, he wouldn't be late in the past, and it's a promise that he won't, won't be. Yes, he told me his base, the robbers, the night before. Again and again, my dear students, when you find before, try to find past perfect. We'll see, has seen, had seen, have seen, which is past perfect. Of course, had seen. Yes. Okay. okay. He said that he hadn't visited the zoo space. Tomorrow, yesterday, the week before, last week. Of course, if it is indirect and said, and there is that, and this is the past uh, perfect, we have to use the week before. Okay, he explained, he explained that London, the capital of Britain. We have a fact here, my dear students, had been, is, will be, was. When we have a fact, we use the present symbol, is. Again. Okay, he said that he didn't understand what I had said. Told, said to, shouted, explain. Here, I had explained. He didn't understand what I had explained. Okay, Nada, space that she had a test the following week. So, said to, said inquire. Okay, we have here uh, a statement and we have the following week. The following week. And we don't have an address here or someone to tell him. So Nada said, Nada said. Yes, the last one, Miss Amanda. Last one, of course. She said she spaced her driving test the previous year. Passes, has passed, would pass, had passed. Of course, previous year. It comes to had passed. She had passed the driving test the previous year. And here we end our session.